your body, you're sitting on him. He's underneath you. So if I look at my seat in the saddle, relative to a spine length underneath me. Right now, let's say, from, from my tummy to his wither, that's a right angle. Right? Behind me, right angle. From my back to his back. Not exactly, but close enough. Your leg hangs long, contact pulls up, you're right here. That right angle, those right angles, they don't change. But, you're going to lean back. And you're going to shift them with you. Does that make sense? So you're going to put them, that's the flying change as well. You're going to go, I'm going to put a little pressure down on your back. And I'm going to kind of, not quite, but I'm going to think I hook my knees into the knee roll as I lean back and actually lift your shoulders up even higher. And I'm going to keep your pole up here and some tension in the reins and bring the reins back with me when I go. So I actually uh, kind of arc your neck up in this direction a little more. So even though those angles aren't necessarily connected and set, in your mind think they're set. And then start to lean back on them sometimes. I don't do like, I spend most of the time telling people to not lean back as far. Because I'm trying to get them long like you already are. Upright in your body, long so you have leverage. Whereas if you lean back and you collapse and drive with your seat, like that's, everything's rounded and collapsed and not supple. But in this case, you're almost a little too far forward and or we can be using some of the leverage to help you. Which is that little, uh, really sitting in and leaning back strong on them. Okay? But I, I try a couple of times, like, and it might feel a little extreme. You know, the leaning back, but you're not that far back. You'll see it on the video. Okay. But I want you to think of it as extreme. Well, brat. <laughs> Spanish, no work ethic. Spanish or South American? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is he? Uh, Andalusian, so Spanish. Yeah, what do you mean? Right. Good. Long side straight. Get on the gas pedal a bit for that medium thought in his body. Good. Leaning back. Pull extra high. Almost above the big feel it. Little medium carry even there on the short side. Push. Half diagonal. Above the bit. Higher. Medium carry. Higher. Lean back. That was a good one. Yeah, like that. I knew it wasn't right on the eight in the moment. But the balance worked right. Play with that, like I said, a bit on how far you lean back, right? Put some pressure on them. Also, you won't be able to hollow them out, right? So take the risk of, like, really get them up and some. Higher. Yeah, there. And then you're going to come out that change a little medium canner like Half diagonal. Super high. Push. Good. Up in front. Good. High. High. Get up there. High. Lean back. High. Yeah. That was the idea. Now I notice he was angry, but he didn't kick up as high. Yeah. He actually did kick more forward, but he's a little pissy about it because he put more pressure on his body. One more dread. I want to leave it a little more medium care of thought. Look right into the change. But I want you more back. And more up in front. Higher. Higher. Come on. Above a bit. There. There's your moment. That's the change. Though. He dealt afterwards, but the balance was good into that one. Same the other way. Same thing. Way above the bit. 
I mean, it's not. Don't think that it's really. But it might feel like that. Hi. Once like this would do, I'm like up, 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 lean back, up, and a change. Yeah, <laughs> walk, turn left, left lead. Maybe just didn't have enough motor, right? You were in the right on the balance. Just kind of right away. Good. Think a little medium, down the long side. Love that. Balance, yeah. Long side, little medium. From B, go half diagonal. Just put it somewhere different. Up, 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 up. Good. Way high, up. No tipping down, the beast. Good. Now the half diagonal again. That high. And the far to the medium, like you just had on the long side. Way up. Lean back. Lean back. Up. Yeah, that was better. Good. Walk again. Tight behind. But it was him going, wait a minute, that's what I said. He might say, shit, maybe I can't change. But that's kind of what you want to say. It's like, yeah, I know. You got to change. I know you're saying you can't, but you can. And you have to do it in that balance so I don't get the big kicking up behind. <laughs> but I think, yeah, like you could definitely uh, use some of that leverage before the change. Like I said, think right angle, right angle, connected like cement, and I'm just going to tip the whole structure. And I, I might go, uh, like it might be just three, like why does it come out of the corner? Shove at them a bit. Same going into the mediums. Uh, right into it, and then try to stay there. But it wouldn't be, I'm going to slowly start to tip back, because I think if he feels it going back, I'll be like, I'm ready. Whereas if you just kind of go with Cameron, 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 his body will go, what the heck just happened? And if you can time it right and punch a medium can or time it and get a flying change, it could probably really work to get those working on a bit of a different trajectory.